to evening, W Collins. The world grows quieter with the setting sun. Evening, although changed by the seasons, it is often the gentlest time of day, suited for love. To evening. If aught of Oten stop or pastoral song, may hope, O pensive eve, to soothe thine ear, like thy own brawling springs, thy springs and dying gales, O nymph reserved, while now the bright-haired sun sits in yon western tent, whose cloudy skirts with bread ethereal wove, or hang his wavy bed. Now air is hushed, save where the weak-eyed bat, with short shrill shriek flits by on leathern wing, or where the beetle winds his small but sullen horn. As, as oft he rises midst the twilight path, against the pilgrim born in heedless hum, he'll teach me mate composed to breathe some softened stream, whose number stealing through thy darkening veil may not seem unseemly with its stillness suit, as musing slow I hail thy genial loved return. For when thy folding star arising shows his pelly circlet at his warning lamp, the fragrant hours and elves who slept in buds the day. And many a nymph who wreathes her brows with sedge and sheds the freshening dew and lovelier still, the pence of pleasure sweet, Prepare thy shadowy ear. Then let me rove some wild and heathy scene, or find some ruin midst its dreary, dreary dells, whose walls more awful nod by thy religious gleams. Or if chill blustering winds or driving rain prevent my willing feet, be mine the hut that from the mountain side views wilds and swelling floods, and hamlets brown and dim discovered spires, and hears their simple bell, and mar marks where all thy dewy fingers draw the gradual dusky veil. While well, spring shall pour his showers as oft he want, and bathe thy breathing tresses meek as deep, while well, summer loves to sport beneath thy lingering light, while well, sallow autumn fills thy lap with leaves, or winter yelling through the troublous air, affrights thy shrinking train, and rudely rends thy robes. So long, regardful of thy quiet rule, shall fancy, friendship, science, smiling peace, thy gentlest influence own, and love thy favorite name.